finish reading that up. Okay. Hey, what you what, what you got? What, what you got? 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 Give me Hebrews chapter twelve. I got you. I got you. I got you. Deal with me. Drill. 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 Deal with me. Deal with me. I got you. I'm gonna teach you. All right. It's good seeing you. All right. I'm gonna show you. Thus saith the Lord. Now you said that who can't get to heaven? He said the whites can't get to heaven. Okay. Let me ask you something. Matter of fact, before you get that. Let me ask you a question, girl. Let me ask you. I'm going to break it down to you like this. What is, what is, what is hell? Give me Hosea. Let me ask you, what is hell? Is it a, is it a fiery place in the middle of the earth? I don't know. You don't know? Good. All praises. And that's a humble spirit to have. We're going to show you, thus saith the Lord. So for me to give you an understanding of what heaven is, I got to show you what hell is first, all right? Watch this. Hosea chapter 5. Read what you got. I mean, Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. Once I show you that, then I can show you that, and then I can explain the next concept, all right? We're going to take our time. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. Read. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. First, you have to understand who God's people is, okay? So you see that sign right there? So you know already. Israel is God's people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God's people, all right? So read that again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Our people went into slavery. That's evident. We all know that, right? But why did that happen? Read. Because they have no knowledge. Because what? They have no knowledge. Drill, what's the, what's the knowledge that the Lord is talking about? He said, but y'all went into, huh? Okay, now we're going to show you thus saith the Lord what that knowledge is. Give me uh, Hosea 4 and 6. God said, you and I, my people have went into captivity because they have no knowledge, all right? What is that knowledge? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. All right, Hosea, verse, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Read what you got. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. This is knowledge according to the Most High, all right? Read. My people are destroyed. My people are what? Destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou be no priest to me. Now give me another one. Give me Malachi okay. 2 and 7. Give you straight to the point. So it's saying the same thing as the last verse, right? Our people, because y'all reject it, we're destroyed. We're not living in the best conditions. Crime is high. He's going to ask them. I'm going to show you the knowledge. I'm going to show you the knowledge. Malachi 2 and 7. Read this. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. What is the knowledge? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. So God, when he mentions knowledge and understanding, he's talking about his laws, statues, right. and commandments. Right. You know that. You know that already. Okay, all right. Now go back to Isaiah. So because we don't keep God's commandments, we reject that God has rejected us. We're lost. So what does that mean for hell? Read on. Therefore, my people are gone. Calling to read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Come on. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. They don't keep the laws. Read on. And their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Read. Therefore, hell. Therefore what? Hell. Therefore what? Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself wow. and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and that he and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. So I'm gonna summarize that. So hell, you didn't read about anything about fire in the middle of the earth in there, right? right? So guess what? Hell is a condition. Right. Our people are in hell right now as we speak. Because we don't keep God's laws. Things like marrying when you lay with a sister, you're supposed to marry that sister. Things like not eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, which you may think are small things, which are big on a grand scale to the Lord. We do otherwise. We go to church on Sundays, not keeping the Lord's uh, Sabbath. We keep birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, all these things which the Lord has not acknowledged and hates. Therefore, we are in hell. That's your condition. Our people, hell, we are in slavery. We are enslaved today. We have a nation ruling over us and tells us when to move, when to get a shot, when you got to get up and go to work, uh, pay taxes, do all these things. And you have right. We're supposed to be free. All right. 
you right. So now you understand that there's a people in hell right now, which is our people, obviously. So let's show them what heaven is. Deuteronomy 11 and 22. Because obviously, if somebody is in heaven, somebody's in hell. So we just show our people we're in hell and we're in captivity. That's all that means. The condition of our people right now, we are in slavery right now. So let's find out what heaven is. Deuteronomy 11 and 22. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 22. Uh -huh. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments uh -huh. which I command you and do them. What's the condition in that? For us to, uh, if you should do what? What do we have to do? This simple. Why, why are we in hell? Because we didn't do what? All right. So he said on this same sense, if you keep the commandments, read on. For if you shall... If you shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him. Jump to verse 21. Verse 21. That your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which the Lord swear unto your father to give them, as the days of heaven. That's the days of what? Of heaven. That's the days of what? Of heaven. So that's talking about a physical thing. So if you're keeping God said, you're keeping the commandments, your days shall be as the days of heaven on where? Upon the earth. Upon where? Upon the earth. In the clouds. Upon the earth. So I'm going to sum that up for you. Heaven is rulership. Right. It's rulership. All the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in control of anything on a world major scale right now as a race of people. As a race. It might, you might have your Michael Jordans, you might have your, but do they set laws, tell you you need a password to go here and there, tell you that you uh you own a home, but you still pay taxes on a home. Right. You own a car, but you still pay taxes on that car. Do they set, as a race of people, do we set that? Deal with me, deal with me. Go on now, okay. <laughs> go on now. Okay, okay. Now give me Hebrews 12. He said right. No, no, they'll be there. Yeah, they'll be there. But what would they be doing? You know what they'll be doing? All right, now nah, drop that. Get me Hebrew. I mean, give me Isaiah 14. They'll be there. All nations will be there in the kingdom of heaven. Believe that. But what will they be doing in the kingdom of heaven? Let me ask you a question. What are we doing in their heaven right now? This is their heaven. What are we doing in their heaven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, hey, bro. We did. We built it. We. It's the truth, bro. It's the truth. I feel like we got I don't disagree with that. But guess what? And we are today, Quadro. We are today. I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna show you why. Give me Isaiah 14, and I'm gonna show. You. I'm gonna show you. Cause look. Let's deal with societies. There's, we're going to deal with that also. But let's deal with this concept first. So we understand because of our disobedience to the commandments, this happened to us, and we're still serving the so-called white man today. We're still serving the serving the so-called Asian man today. We're still serving the so-called Arabs today. Majority of the co corporate owners of 7-Eleven, when you go into a 7-Eleven, what race people? We, we know this. We know that you're not stupid. You're a smart brother. I know. But let's deal with the facts of things, okay? Somebody's living in heaven and somebody's in hell. Now, just like how we're serving in their heaven, watch this. They'll be there, but what will they be doing? Read Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Listen up, because the church ain't going to teach you this. Read, listen up. Read what you got. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Jacob and Israel is the same man. God says, even though the conditions and what we've done, the Lord is still going to have mercy on us. But what is that mercy? Read on. And set them in their own land. And do what? And set them in their own land. And set them in our own land. Quadrille. We ain't in our own land, Quadrille. Right. <laughs> we ain't not in our own land. Everybody knows that. Read on. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the who? The strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers in the scriptures can be of two conditions, but we're going to deal with the original uh, condition of what they are. 
The strangers are the other nations outside of the Israelites. Okay? So God refers to them as the stranger, the heathen, or Gentiles. Okay? So it said, read it again. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So they'll be with us. Read on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they're going to be with us. They're going to cleave on to us. They're going to join on to us. But how? Read on. And the people shall take them. And the people shall what? And the people shall take them. Why do we have to take the other people? What is it called when you take another people? What? A do what? On a major, on a racial scale. When you take another people on a major scale and you move them from one place to another. What is that called? Servitude. Right. Servitude. That's what that's called. Read on. And the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. They're not going to be our friends, Quadrell. They're not going to be our friends. You know what a Jeffrey is? You ever see Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah. You, you, you like that, right? It said the nation of Israel shall possess these other nations. Right. Just like how they have possessed the nation of Israel right now. Right. We are a possession to them. And guess what else they do to us? Hold that. Give me Zechariah 11 and 5. To their possessions. What do they do to their possessions? We are their possessions this day. Yeah. What do they do to their possessions? Read what you got. The book of Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors? Whose possessors? To be a possessor, you must possess something, right? So a captor has a captive, right? Our possessor is the so-called white man. Right. It's the so-called Arab man. It's the so-called Asian man. They possess us. Read on. But what do they do with their possession? Slay them. They do what? Slay them. Derek Chauvin. What did he do to uh, to uh, to our man? To our man uh, with the knee on the neck. Derek Chauvin. What did he do to George Floyd? He put his knee on his neck. Uh, Bokum Bokum Jean. Remember the sister that did uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the white lady? She served ten years. What did she do to him? I'll help. Yeah, you're right. In the safety of his own and of his own home, shot right. the man to death. Shot the man to death. They do what to us? Slay them. They do what? Slay them. It's the Bible that we're reading after. So this is what they do to us, right? So watch what the Lord says is going to happen to them. God is a just God. Right. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. God is a just God. Right My question to you is this. Yes, you should end. You should be the bigger man in most situations. But this is bigger than that. What we're about to read to you, this is justice. Right. This is judgment that the Lord says. And it's nothing that I can do about it or what you can do about it, what is going to happen to the other nations. It's nothing that we can do about it. Watch this. Read this. And I'll answer your question. Because I know you got a question. Yeah, I do. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Is this Old Testament? New Testament. All right, so read what you got. Either way, you need both. But I'm just showing you. This is the last book of the Bible, Revelation. Read what you got. He that leadeth into captivity. Quadro, were we led into slavery? Yeah. Yes, our history. That happened. Now, I know the thought is, what is, why does that matter now? Because there's a saying. To know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. History don't stop just because of something. Uh, uh, time doesn't stop just because something happens to one people. It keeps going. But guess what? It had to have led off of something. This is the reality of the story. This is what happened. You have to have your history. You know why? Because every 4th of July, they shove their history down your throat. Right. Right. Every Christmas, they shove their history down your throats. Every, every Juneteenth, they shove their history down your throats. We have a holiday based off of how late they told us that you were out of slavery. They told us they have a holiday based on how late they told you that you were free. Bring it out. Think about that. Meditate on that. But watch this. Read what you got. He that leadeth into captivity. The white man led us into captivity. That's the reality of things. Read on. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. All I'm doing is reading the Bible. I'm just reading the Bible. God said them people that did that to y'all, they're going to go into captivity. Read on. He that killeth with the sword. Test, test. Read again. 
He that killeth with the sword. Were we not slain? Are we not shot down? Were we not lynched? Were we not ran over? Were we not torn and feathered? Were we not these things? And they still happen to us till this day. Did these things not happen to us? Right. Read on. So it says, he that killeth with the sword, read on, must be killed with the sword. That's judgment, Quadrill. That's judgment. It's nothing we can do about that. God. So they automatically condemned. You said they automatically condemned? Yeah. Like, so we was condemned. But this is our hell. Mm -hmm. So when we go to heaven, every white person is condemned because of, because I want to it's called accountability for your actions. Right. You know the saying, you reap what you sow? Yeah, bro, that's judgment. That's what has to happen. So, watch this Proverbs 11 and 21, because it's a lot of emotion that goes on with that. That's what it is, because we grew up. Drill, we grew up with them. I understand completely. I understand. I understand. But the reality of the matter is the Lord created this nation to punish us. That's what they were created for. Right. That's that that God says he's they what they are to him, they are the sword to him. Meaning when you you I got you. Look, hey, look, we got look, yo, get up. Stay right there. Got you. I'm out here too. Right. We we'll deal. I'm gonna but we're gonna believe we're gonna deal with the reality of things. We're dealing with truth. We're not dealing with we're not dealing with emotion. We out here. We out here. We're dealing with the reality of things. No matter how much I feel or care about the other nations, watch what the Lord says. Proverbs 11, verse 21. That's King James Version. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 21. You just sent from royalty. Don't even know it. Don't even know it. Read what you got. Though hand joined in hand. Though we cool with these people. We lived all amongst these people for all of our lives. We're not thinking that, hey, that these people and their people are still doing these things to, to us. We're not caring about that. But guess what God says? Read it again. Though hand joined in hand. No matter how cool you are with them. Read on. The wicked. The who? The wicked. The white man is the wicked of the Bible. That's right. The white man is the wicked. Not a wicked. The wicked. Right. Read on. Shall not be unpunished. Shall what? Shall not be unpunished. I didn't write the story. That's just how the story is playing out, man. And it's nothing we can do about it. Romans chapter uh, 3. It's nothing we can do about it. The Lord has their purpose for them, just like he has a purpose for everything that he created. And he created you and me to rule this earth. To rule this earth. That's our purpose. It's not to pay bills and die. It's not to have sex with multiple women. It's not, to, it's not to get the most money. It's to rule this earth in righteousness. That's the whole reason of your being. Out of all the sperm cells that made it to your mother's womb, you made it to right. rule, to have a chance at rulership. That's why you were created. That's why I'm on this earth. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.